Hello, I am Gustav Sangalang and I am here to talk about two theories in educational technology, namely technological determinism and social construction of technology using Pachacucha, an emerging trend in media presentation which means chit chat in Japanese. Theories serve as a touchstone for educators to understand how technologies influence the learning of students. In today's advancements in technology, educational technologists need to revisit these theories in creating an appropriate instructional design for institutions. As more educators and learners realize the affordances of technology in education, the influence in their lives becomes inevitable. Technology has become an essential part of their daily routines. Humans have relied so much on their lives to technology. This is where we arrive at the first theory, which is technological determinism, or the belief that technology is the governing force in society. According to this theory, social progress follows an inevitable course that is driven by technological innovation. Langdon Winner provided two hypotheses for this theory. One, the technology of a given society is a fundamental influencer of the various ways in which a society exists. Two, changes in technology are the primary source that leads to change in the society. In short, technological determinism postulates that some new technology comes into our lives and we are forever changed by that technology in ways that we couldn't have comprehended, but we also couldn't really resist. One example of technological determinism is the invention of the car. When the car was invented, it enabled people to travel further distances at their own pace. This resulted in the rise of other things as well. Like for example, a lot of people started moving out of the city to live in the more peaceful and affordable suburbs because their cars enabled them to travel to and from their work in the city more quickly and more efficiently. Another example of technological determinism is how our smartphones influence our social behavior. We had become so dependent on the affordances and capabilities of our smartphones that when we accidentally leave the smartphone at home while rushing off to work, results in the feeling of emptiness, disequilibrium, or a sense of being lost. Technological determinism implies that the cause for the anxiety is because of our disconnection with the smartphone itself and for not being able to use its affordances. On the other hand, social construction of technology refers to a theory about how a variety of social factors and forces shape technological development, technological change, and the meanings associated with technology. This is in direct contrast with the technological determinism. Social construction of technology implies that innovation comes about because of certain human needs or problems, and that the resulting technologies produced influence us because of societal factors. In social construction of technology, Technology is just a tool, like a hammer. A hammer is a tool used to drive nails, and it can be very useful, say, to build a house or perhaps to hang a picture frame. But it can also be used as a weapon to hurt other people by hitting them on the head. But that doesn't make the hammer evil. The hammer cannot be inherently good or bad. The hammer is just a tool. The use of the hammer will depend on the particular need of its user at the given time or situation. It's not the hammer that influences the user, whether to be used to build a house or to hurt other people. 
Another example of the social construction of technology is the invention of biodegradable plastics. It was invented because of our need to reduce plastic wastes and mitigate the effects of global warming, not because we need it as a packaging material. There are fewer adherents of technological determinism today than social construction of technology because technological determinism simply reduces into a simplistic explanation how we interact with technology and it does not explain why innovations happen in the first place. Chandler offers another criticism of technological determinism which rests on the idea that determinism necessarily puts technology in a position of absolute power over society, leading people to feel helpless to change any direction in which technology is driving the society. Taylor distinguished each phase in the generations of distance education through the technologies used in the delivery. If we consider how these technologies influence the learning of students in each generation, then this understanding leans more on technological determinism. Whereas, if we try to understand how these technologies evolved because of the needs of the society and then applied in the field of distance education, then this understanding is based on the social construction of technology.